Willow's having a roll, if you can see her in the grass over there. Oh, there she got up. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday. That's the view from the tractor on a Sunday morning. The other day, Gabby dug up my post hole auger for the tractor. It was hidden in these bushes, so now I gotta take that, put it on my tractor. It was like thunder lightning this morning, so I left the horses in, uh, gave them hay and grain and stuff, but then when it stopped thunder and lightning, I brought them out in the field and they got to eat their grass. Then it started raining on them, so I left them out in the rain and they just decided to eat the grass. They were fine in the rain. They love the rain, I guess. Well, it's time for them to come in now uh, because we're headed out to Costco, do some little bit of shopping. Yeah, and because it rained, I need to get the post hole auger on my truck, on my tractor, because we are gonna make some fence holes and the best time to do it is when the ground has been wet and has rained. Because if you have rocks and, and the ground's too dry, it's just too hard to make holes. So hopefully today I'll be able to do that. Poor Gabby has to run out there and get Gino now in the all wet grass. Grain buckets, good idea. Uh, let's wait till Gabby grabs Gino because the other horses, Gracie is a nuisance. Gracie is a big nuisance. Oh, look, he's coming. Or he's running away. One of the two. Good boy, Chino. Good boy. Good boy, Chino. Now we have to get the other mares. I'll just wait till she's back and then I'll rattle some grain buckets. Penny, I got grain! Come on, Pen! Come on, Penny! No, they're not interested. On a different note, I moved this. I moved it to this staked post. And I'm moving it farther and farther away from the barn because it really stinks now. And I noticed more flies in the barn with it close to the barn, so I moved it outside of the barn and now I moved it farther from the barn so hopefully it will uh, attract all the flies out this way. All right there I had to go all the way down to the end shoot them all the way back to the where Gabby and Sophie were to bring them in. A lot of work because they don't want to come in. They don't want to come in because they're enjoying the grass but it's their nap time before they go out tonight on more grass. Good at morning guys welcome to today's video. Um, Wait did I wear this shirt yesterday? I yeah. did. I wore it just in the morning though, just for a couple hours before it got hot. So if you do like me, you just buy 10 shirts the same color and wear the same one every day. He does. He always wears a gray shirt. And they're all different and if you can't I really tell. If I one that I like, I just buy 10 of them. But in the past, he's had like, yeah, he's I always buys like this. Shirts. Yeah. He does. It's the best way to live. Just have a hundred pairs of one color thing. And, you know. and I've seen people do that before. Like people who wear like only the same outfit like black jeans and a tan shirt or vice versa or whatever but anyways welcome back to today's video i just got water blops on my glasses so i can't see very good anyway we're headed out to go to costco but yesterday what a ride it was um we left our kids at a horse show first time we've ever done that and they handled it then they were like awesome they had a great time we're so grateful to have good amazing friends not only did they take care of our our kids even like our coaches were there we had a couple of coaches from our barn there and they took care of our kids our friends took care of our kids and not only did they do that they also videoed for us so we had amazing footage to share with you and not only that we missed the show like we missed the show and we still got to see it because they videoed it for us like that it, like i don't even care about the videos to make like a video i cared about being able to watch them like i we i haven't even seen the sophie's ride yet because i haven't got to editing it yet but i saw gabby's ride and it just it was so fun and they kept me in the loop like i we had to go to a wedding and my nephew 
he's a hockey player and he got married to the love of his life and we got to go and celebrate that with them and even while we were there I got update messages from Sophie and from Alvi and from Jen and I was sitting there in the middle of the wedding and I got a message from Alvi and she said Gabby rode so good and I was like oh thank goodness like thank goodness she really needed that burst of confidence in herself and, and I was thinking to myself like thank goodness like I just really needed to hear that from Alvi to know that Gabby's rounds went really well I feel like she needed that after her fall off Lily and then today when I watched the video I saw her come off the her um, schooling round before she did her rounds and she said that was terrifying and I've never heard Gabby say that was terrifying I don't know if I ever heard her say that but she said that to her coach and then he teased her but to know like to see her have that really bad fall go into a show feel that that terrifyingness and then go out there and do her best rounds ever like I just I don't know she needed that but then I we still got to be a part of it because of our friends that's what I'm trying to say any words Sam any words Nope. <laughs> Sam, Sam and I were like the whole time like, how did they do? And well, like, it, it was just, I almost would rather be at a horse show than a wedding. But I'm really grateful that we were able to go to the wedding. So, and that the girls were able to go to a horse show. But anyways, oh my gosh, it was so hot, you guys. It was so hot. Look at all that hay. Holy heck. That's second cut. That's first cut left there. Oh, is it first cut left there? Wow. Anyways, it, oh my gosh, you guys, it was so hot at the wedding. The wedding was beautiful. It was by the water. I'll put some pictures here of like the tent and stuff. I took a couple of pictures um, and I'll show you guys. It was so much fun by the water. I sat and watched the wedding ceremony and I got up to walk over to the tent where the meal was going to be and the reception was going to be and as I was walking I was wearing bare feet in like dress shoes black dress shoes as I was walking my one shoe felt like it was getting looser and looser and looser and I was like wow I must really be sweating inside my shoe because it was so hot out I thought I was sweating and my foot was like getting looser and looser because it was like sweating inside the shoe and all of a sudden the bottom of my shoe the whole entire bottom of my shoe just came off the glue in my shoe melted away and I lost the whole bottom of my shoe spent the whole wedding reception with no shoes but everybody was dancing with no shoes so I fit right in it worked out fine but I just tossed those shoes at the end of the wedding spent the whole entire night in bare feet yeah that's how hot it was yesterday all right, so we are home from Costco, and I wanted to show you guys the update on our little Silky Cross chickens. The girls are playing video games with friends. Um, so obviously this is a boy. You could tell because when I put them down, he just stands. He just was standing straight up tall there. But that's not the only reason we know that he's a boy. But anyway, so far we have two, four, five. <laughs> white ones they're going to be white this one here the first one born is going to be a paint though it's going to be white with black spots unfortunately see he's a rooster unfortunately genealogy of the whole thing and they're all just going to have regular feathers regular chicken feathers so you can see her feathers coming in Yes, we know. Sophie calls this little rooster Roo, and he is honestly the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Roosters always have the best personality. <laughs> anyway, so all of these are girls except for him. Isn't that crazy? I've never seen so many baby girls born hatched as I have with the little hen that we have that laid the eggs. Like, it's just shocking to me. Um, I don't know for sure, obviously, but I have, I'm pretty sure we've been doing the wing testing method this whole entire time. And honestly, it's, it's worked out perfectly. Like I can tell that this guy is a rooster just from watching him, but his wings showed us <laughs> that he's a rooster right from birth. So we have a gray, 
Oh, so we have a blue, we have a white, we have a paint, we have a actually a white, a white, and a black. But one of these was almost buff when it, oops, oh my goodness, don't do that. One of these was almost buff when it was born, and I think it's this one. It was almost a, a, like a buff color. It had a lot of orange on it, but now it's, oh, well, I think it could still end up being buff. I don't know. But aren't they adorable, you guys? Like, there's nothing better than baby chicks. Especially silky baby chicks. You're looking like a rooster, too. What are you doing there? Let me just check your wing. She says, no. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> she climbs right up me. Oh, this one's a paint, too. Do you guys see? The little black spots. She's got little tiny black spots. So I guess we have two paints. Actually, it wouldn't surprise me if more of them turn out to be paints. Because the mom is a paint. They're such cute babies. So, so far we have seven. Seven babies and we have a lot left in the incubator. Gabby won champion yesterday, you guys saw. And she won ribbons. And she won the saddle pad. What's on that? Also, there's no more room on there. I know, Sophie said the same thing. Especially where all the first and second places are. Wow. <laughs> what a problem to have. Sophie said the exact same thing. No, it's going to fall down. Oh. I'm pretty sure. All right, well, it we looks need... like it's going to fall down. All right, well, we need to make a new room. You guys, spam us with the pictures of your ribbon walls. We want to see like what your ribbon walls look like. Anyways, she got this saddle pad. It's really thick. Just wait. Let me put the chickens away and we'll show them. them. All right, so this is a saddle pad. And it has little tiny foxes. She spilled Windex on it. Little tiny foxes with with riding hats, like a helmet on it, which is kind of fitting. Hold on, see it? A little fox with a riding hat, which is kind of fitting, considering that she had to get a new riding helmet. So she also won this bag. It's Another like. Bag. Yeah, she has some of those. She also got a certificate from a company, a local company, for a free Reiki uh, session, which would be really good for Chino. I think it would be really good for Chino. Uh, they also do the cold laser. Do you guys know what that is? So the company that does the Reiki has Reiki and cold laser, and I've been really interested in this cold laser thing for a while now. But basically, the cold laser is like an uh, infrared light laser that you can use. It's like, you know that laser that they use at the vet? When we had our dogs spayed and our cats spayed, they always ask us, like, if you pay more, you can have the laser treatment done. And basically what it does is it, like, hey, helps take the inflammation out of their incision so they heal faster. And it can be, like, so super therapeutic. I've been reading up on it so much. Anyway, so they can do that. The lady does that, too. So she gets a free session of that. I think that'd be so good for Chino. And she also wants some treats. Hi guys, I got a good deal on this at Costco. It's um, a big light, 8,000 lumens. I bought this one a while ago. You can't see it. That's what it looks like, but it's, uh, I can't remember where I got that from. Maybe Canadian Tire. No, I think that was at Costco as well. But, I got that new one today. It was a good deal, and it sure bright. I put it in this area this time, and sure brightens up the area. Look how bright it is now. Now, when you're looking for stuff, Gabby, you'll be able to find anything you want. Look how bright it is. Anyways, now we're going to try get that post hole digger working. See if we can make a hole in the ground. You ready to make a hole in the ground? You mean, are you ready to make a hole in the ground? <laughs> Am I ready to make a hole in the ground? Yeah, we're ready. Make a hole in the ground. But I'm thinking it might have to wait till tomorrow. Because, uh, three point hitch. Where does that piece go? That means I have to disconnect some stuff off my tractor. And that means, I'm going to have to disconnect this system off my tractor. The hoses in that. Ooh. So, I might have to wait till tomorrow. Till we make our first hole. 
Yeah, might have to wait till tomorrow. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Better wait till tomorrow, that way you have time to do whatever you want now. Yeah. <laughs> this will be the first time I get it working. And hopefully I'll be making holes everywhere. The goal is to put a gate uh, where the paddock field is and a gate by the barn. Those are the two gates that I want. Hiring a contractor to come in and fix up this area for me. And clean all this up and level it because where that tree is, is a big boulder. Where that tree right there is, it's a big boulder and it was a tree stump and now it's just a tree growing off of a stump. So all that has to be cleared back because this is where I want another winter paddock. So when we had to put the line in for the well, our well is in the back of the property, there's this ditch and it goes all the way to the house and it comes along here and goes here and then it actually got filled in pretty good but it cuts right through here so in there is a ditch and it follows along so there that's a ditch and there's a bunch of junk pile there there's junk piles in there so that's why i would need a big bulldozer to to doze this all and level it out and clean it up Anyways, that's my plan. Stay tuned. We will have fencing up yet. Better fencing soon. Don't you know?